A lot, of, a lot of work to get to this point. I guess what's the feeling now? It's game week is finally here in the challenge on Sunday. Feels great. It's exciting. I think guys are just ready to get after it. Preseason, all that's fun, but it's time for the real deal, and it's what we've been uh, working towards. So it's, it's great that it's finally here. It's great that it's football season. It's good to be back. Have you studied them, and maybe what do, you, what do you see when you watch the tape of the defense? No, I'm very impressed. You know, they look really good on all levels. Um, you know, the line's ready for a big front up, up front with what they got going on there. Um, good rushes on the outside, good, strong, penetrating rushes inside. Um, and then, you know, they performed as well as they did, especially towards the end of last year, for a reason. Uh, you know, you see the turnovers, you see the ball disruption, the, um, you know, lack of rush yards that they're, they're giving up. So it's a great challenge for us to get out there and kind of see uh, what we can get done in this uh, week one. What do you think and, and what do you hope, you know, Titans fans will maybe see differently in you starting this week that, that maybe they didn't see? Uh, I think that I'd just love for them to think I look, uh, you know, just more comfortable out there, just uh, like I'm seeing things well. And that's that's my goal as well, is to go into this week with that confidence, knowing that I have made those improvements and have been able to see things better and just make good decisions with the football. So. I just hope to, you know, just to do that and uh, for my teammates especially, just to put that on film for them. Brian, I know about patience a little bit. Brian talked about patience. Is that, is that one of the things that you hope to show as well? Yeah, no, it's just trusting what I see. And I think that's one of the biggest things I've improved on the most is just playing ball and, and doing the right thing over and over and over again. And uh, just knowing that as long as you just keep making those right decisions, then you're going to keep putting your team in the best, uh, best place to succeed. So. We know that, especially with you know just how disciplined and, and you know communicative they are on defense, that they are able to just you know cover all the, a lot of these concepts that you see across the league, and uh, just there might be opportunities for me to, to take them and might not. So you got to know when those situations arise and treat them accordingly. Kelly emphasized the importance of starting fast, scoring first with the offense. You guys did a great job of that in the preseason in those three games. What's the key to transitioning that and make sure you carry that over to week one? Yeah, it's that mindset every day. It's, it's even in practice. We say we, we win the day uh, you know, in practice during the week or win the game in practice during the week. So it's coming out and starting fast on these days and having that same um, standard for us in everything that we're doing, not just for the game, so that we know that when it's time to go, we, we can't ease ourselves into it. We got to be, you know, all systems go right away. So we got to make sure that we go out there and, you know, have the openers down pat and know what we're going to go out there and be running with those first set of plays and uh, just attack them and be physical and be fast. So I know that our guys can be ready for it and I'm just looking forward to getting that fast start. Brian said uh, Monday that he has no doubt that you're ready to assume the leadership role and to run this offense the way it needs to be run. What are some of the things that kind of give you confidence that you're ready for this moment? No, I think it's just the, the tape I've put on, you know, being able to watch myself throughout camp and improve in the areas that I've talked about before. Uh, it just it's given myself confidence to be able to go out there and do it on Sundays. So all the reps that I've gotten throughout the past few weeks, um, all the mental reps that I've gotten in and the studying that I've done, uh, I just feel ready and I'm looking forward to putting it on display. Well, your leadership role inside the team Changed from last season to this season. Have you made a point to be that? I guess the question would be if things are going poorly, are you the voice on offense now to, to kind of get everybody back? I'm definitely more of a voice. I just think my leadership role and how I feel in it is a lot more comfortable than last year. And I think that's just come with the reps and the position that I've been put in, just being the guy going into the off season. Um, but, you know, I definitely feel like I am a voice that guys want to hear from, and I have to make sure that. I take that seriously, you know, and be able to bring it up and, and use that when necessary. It's not like I'm going to be, you know, bringing them up after every series, giving them a rah-rah, but understand that when those situations arise and when it's time to get people back to base or get people, you know, in the right mindset, uh, just I got to make sure that I hold the hold the temperature of the of the offense, of the team, and act accordingly. The game plans are going to be pretty compact. Um, that, that stuff that you practice and, and have mastered, how much do you like that? And is it is it at all different than last year in terms of the volume? Uh, no, I don't think it's much different. But you know, we're gonna just make sure that we have the, the plays we need to succeed, and we trust our coaching staff to put us in the position to succeed in that way. Um, <laughs> I mean, our game plans were definitely not condensed in the preseason, so we know kind of that we are able to handle any kind of workload. Uh, the guys have shown that, so you know, it's it's gonna make it easier for us, I guess, to just not worry about as many things and to just get, dial in on and get even more mental reps on the, the things that we do have with the, with the call sheet. Um, but you know, we're going to have pl plenty of plays um, come Sunday. Will not 
sure D-Hop will play on Sunday, but how good is it to have him back out there? And then you guys had such great chemistry last year. With him not being out here in the preseason or anything, does that get lost at all, or is there anything you guys do off the field that kind of keeps that connection? Yeah, we're excited to have him back, and he looked really good today, and it was exciting to get the ball to him again for the first time in a while. And yeah, to your point, I feel like I do have a really good feel for him. And uh, because of that, you know, I'm not fretting as much because of the lost time with him. Um, but, it, you know, we are going to make sure that we're going to get every rep we can possible, especially throughout this next week for this first game, uh, to make sure he's ready to go and that I'm feeling him. So, um, yeah, just great to have him back and can't wait to have him. Even though he's a new guy in a new place, uh, you're familiar, obviously, with Kevin Byer from his, your time with him here last year. How much do you have to kind of be aware of where he is on the field for them, just knowing that he's kind of a ball hawk guy? Yeah, no, he's, he's a great player and he was a great leader for us and did a lot of great things for this team. And I'm excited to see him. And, uh, yeah, he's, we've got to make sure we know where he's at on the field. Uh, he's he's going to be the general out there for that secondary and make sure that he's got his guys in the right spots. And he knows, you know, just defense and coverage and spacing really well. And he's able to make plays on the ball when he sees fit. Um, so, yeah, just got to make sure that I'm smart with the ball, uh, where where he's at, and just kind of tr trusting what I'm seeing in that respect. Emphasis on taking some short stuff. How big for this team to, to break tackles and for your playmakers to, to win in space and get you at? 100%. I mean, we're going to just take the throws that are there for us. And if it's the, the check downs, we trust that we have the guys with the ability to go and make those two yard catches into 10 pluses. Uh, so those are the cool ones to see on film, those explosives that come from the yak and the break, broken tackles and stuff like that. So we're going to keep putting the ball in play and letting our guys work. Well, having gone through the process of assuming a starting role as a rookie last year, what do you see in some of these rookies, specifically JC, that makes them look ready to you? I just their work ethic. I've been impressed with that whole class and how they've been able to, to how they've been able to come in and just be ready to go on a daily basis and using their resources, getting in the extra work physically and mentally. Um, and I think JC set that standard as that first guy in that class uh, to to do all those right things, and it's kind of trickled down from him. So I got to give respect to him. Um, got all the uh, confidence in the world in him, and I'm excited for him to let it rip on Sunday. Externally, there's been a lot of talk about Caleb Williams and the Bears wide receivers and how much they've improved this year. Not so much about you guys. How much have you heard that? And just internally, what's the belief that the group you have is pretty good and can go show something else? Like no, we're just worried about what's going on in this building. And like you said, we know that this group is good enough to go out and beat anyone in this league. So we're going to let people talk about whatever that they want to. But you know, we're going to talk to ourselves and ourselves only and, and let our, you know, our play speak. Well, what's the comfort level between you and, and Callie, him being in your ear as the play caller and three preseason games, you, you, you didn't play that much. Is the comfort level there where you'd like it to be to start the season? Yeah, no, for sure. I think we got a good rapport and just to, I understand how he wants to call the plays and, you know, with the, what, what tempo and what we're just trying to get done from a play calling standpoint. Um, yeah, and his, his voice is pretty soothing, so it's good to hear it in the, in the ear. But no, um, Everything's been good. Everything's been smooth from the walkthroughs to the live reps we're getting in practice. I feel like we got a good feel for each other. Don't imagine you considered changing your number back to seven after you named your cologne after eight and all that. I don't know if that had a huge factor in it, but uh, no, I didn't have any, or I didn't anticipate changing my number. I felt like when I chose it for, for the pros, it was going to stay that way. And I, and I love number eight. So. Let's go to war with these new coaches and especially guys like Denard who. He, every mean he just fire you up every time he get up there to talk and talking about the defense and what he expects. So um, no, I'm excited and you, you can feel it in the building. You can feel it out here on the practice field. It's yeah, not like, the first time you've been an underdog, Danger. What, what are the advantages to kind of having that mentality going into a game like this? One? I mean, I, since I've been here, we always been an underdog. No one expect us to do anything, but I think the mindset that we have in this locker room, we have enough. Uh, everybody in our locker room believe it. We, we could compete with anybody in this league, no matter who on their roster, um, no matter who at quarterback, no matter the receiver they didn't got. It's our job to go out there and perform. And I'm very confident in all guys. I'm confident in um, the defensive side and the offensive side to make sure that we come out of this game with a win. Jeff, I've got a good stat for you. Uh, the last 15 first round picks, uh, number one overall, 0 15 and 1 in terms of quarterback rookie starts. Uh, what does it mean to go up against a guy like Caleb Williams? How important is it to kind of set the tone for this defense with an opportunity like him as a rookie? I mean, call it what it is. He is a rookie coming in for his first real NFL game. Um, and I don't look too much with the stats and all that. Our job is to make sure we contain him. Uh, we know that 
what type of quarterback he is, and we know the type of offense that they run. So they're going to try to put him on the move. He likes to extend plays, as we saw in preseason. So when we rush in, we got to make sure we collapse the pocket, um, not have let him get duck up lanes. Uh, we saw that in the preseason game. And at the end of the day, is you know, he the head of the snake. Once you stop him, it's like you, you control the game. But I think uh, we just go back to – a rookie quarterback, they're going to make plays and they're going to have a game plan to fit him. They're not going to make him try to do too much. And I think the first thing they're going to do is try to run the ball. And that's the first thing we need to do is stop the run so we can make him and them one dimension of football. And that's, you know, hopefully drop back the pass. And um, I think I'm very confident that we could get to him. Jeff, how have you seen Sweat progress in terms of being ready for uh, the regular season and to be a starter now? I couldn't really hear you. Sorry. Yeah. How have you seen uh, Sweat progress to, you know, go from being a rookie to be ready to be an NFL starter? Uh, I think the mindset for him when he first got in, he knew that we expected him to come in and play. We didn't draft him. And I told him, like, we didn't draft you that high to come and just sit. We drafted you for a reason. And he took that mindset, and he's been having a, a great mindset so far. And I think he, he ready for the opportunity. We saw in that last preseason game where, but he went like six snaps, had like three, made three plays. So it's just the consistent um, of him being able to be out there on the field and make plays. I think he he have all the confidence in the world, you know. And I know me being the I guess vet in the room, and uh, he's called me. He always say, "Why are you messing with my big brother?" That's what he tell everybody in the room. I mean, in the locker room. But just me being his big brother, I would say, you know, I I'm very confident in him. Um, I just saw the work he put in. I see the extra work he put in, you know, cardio and stuff like that. And I know, like, it's his rookie year, and we joke around that we think the slide going to come to me um, in the meeting room. And he, he was like, okay, I'm going to win my one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm excited for him. I can't wait to see him out there Sunday. I think it would be a good matchup with him in the center for sure. You was after the schedule came out, Jeff, oh. it was after the schedule came out, you made an appearance on some show and said that you couldn't wait to welcome Caleb Williams to the NFL or something to that effect. Do you still feel like that? I feel like that against anybody we play against. Um, we were joking, of course, uh, when I, on that podcast, um, it was about the pain and nails, but I don't care who I'm playing. Um, it could be my best friend. You know, when we when we step on the field, you're my enemy. Um, I'm, I'm going to welcome KB back to playing Tennessee Titans. Uh, we, the same thing, like I, I have that mindset to win no matter who it is, but that was a joking podcast for sure. Um, but I mean it, like I, I'm, my goal is to win, especially if I could get some one-on-ones in that game. And I'm, I, my goal is to help my team get a win this game. So. Jeff, sorry, you spoke since the day you packed up last year about your motivation to prove exactly who you are in this league this year. Is this kind of the week where the rubber meets the road on that? And how excited are you to prove that? Uh, most definitely, because it's, it's, it's step one. It's game one, and um, in order for to prove that, I, it have to start this week. Like I said, I haven't played no preseason. I haven't played the last five games the last season since then. So I think with my mindset is to be dominant. Um, I've been having, it's like since last week when we reported, well, Monday when we reported back, is that's all I've been thinking about is how dominant I could be this game, how affected I could be this game, and just how can I help my team win this game? And it start this week, and I'm excited about it. Um, of course, we are facing some guys that I'm familiar with, like Nate Davis. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about this game. I think it's going to be a great start for me. I mean, you know, just the biggest thing is just keeping the same routine. Nothing ain't going to change from the preseason since I've been here. Just be the best that I can be. Just make sure I, I study the plays. It's, it's going to be a game plan so we get the chance to scheme up versus them. We know what they do on defense and just watch a film and just try to execute the plays the coach call. And how much does that preparation, obviously the offseason, training camp, all of that have uh, built up to your confidence level going into week one? Oh, not just for me, just for everybody. You know, as I said, it's a new D.C. and it's a new um, offensive coordinator, head coach here with new coaches. So everybody just learned in the playbook and just going each and every day just learning from their mistakes and just coming out with the best effort each and every day but you know um we came as a whole we came a long way you know we started off everybody like kind of confused but now we're at the point where we go out there we can play faster we get the calls and just see the coverage faster you guys have played in plenty of big games as a rookie class going back to your college careers respectively but you know your first NFL game, hostile road environment. What's what's kind of the feeling as you got through this? Week? Um, it's great. You know, just as you said back in college, you know, um, we treated every game like a like a like a, a real 
big game, you know, not just because, like, in college we played like an old Miss and then it got to a point where next week we probably play a Southeastern. So we treated the Southeastern like an old Miss. And it's the same thing here. Every team is a good team. You know, there's a lot of games in the NFL. You lose a win by three points. So you, every your margin is slim in the NFL. And just we talked about last week, uh, this week, um, about the, the turnover battles, the, the plus one and the kicking game and how you win games and what's the small thing that's going to help you win games. I know Callahan said, you know, don't necessarily focus on trying to do anything spectacular, just kind of narrow your focus. Can How, how much how helpful can that be to just kind of have that kind of approach? Um, Yeah, it's real helpful, you know, because when you go out there and we'll go back and watch film, like the plays that you try to do a lot on, you forget about the ball security, you forget about looking in the catch and everything. Just go out there and be you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. What stands out to you specifically about this bigger defense? Um, they're great on defense, you know. What they do is great, you know. Um, the one of the things we went over today, they had 22 interceptions, you know. Um, I had two cornerbacks had four each, and then, you know, the linebacker, um, Edmund had four, and then the D-lineman had four, too. So, you know, um, they're a good team in takeaways. So we just got to, when we go out there, we just got to execute the play and just make the play and make the right decision. Callahan did emphasize scoring first and attacking early, getting started early with the offense specifically. How you guys did a great job of that in the preseason. How easy, how hard will it be to transfer that over to, to week one of the regular season? Um, you, you really don't know to the, the game come. You know, I can say anything right now, but the goal is that every time we get the ball, put it in the end zone. Jaquan, of course, you were active in the preseason, but what will that moment mean to you when you get going in your first true NFL game? Um, since I got here, I treated every snap like it was my last snap, and I'll do that till I'm no longer, you know, in the lead, you know, so I'm just keep going each and every day, so it's not going to stop me, you know, I just like I just told Taji like two minutes ago, man, I'm grateful to be here, you know, um, I came a long way, had a lot of adversity, so um, I'm meant to be here, and just I'm grateful to be here with this organization and with this team, and we're just going to take it one day at a time. If you guys are to receive the opening kickoff, there's a chance your very first play in the NFL, the ball's going to be in your hands, how loud do you think the stadium's going to be, and how loud do you think your heart's going to be in your chest? Well... Before I answer that question, you know, Carlos Santos, he played at, at Tulane, so um, he probably back there, probably kind of, you know, it's like we got Taji and Jaquan back there, Tulane guys. I don't know who he's going to kick it to, but we both ready and we prepared with Coach Anderson and um, Coach Levine and Coach um, KB, so they prepare as well. So um, hopefully the goal is to put it in the end zone and just make sure we catch it and come up with the ball. Thank you. How many times have you thought about this day coming up on Sunday? The past two weeks, I thought about it a lot, you know. Um, growing up, you know, I said I wanted to be in the NFL. As the time went on, you know, I was just playing football because I love it, you know, and now I got the opportunity to play in the NFL on a big stage like this. But I love it each and every day because, you know, football and this game of football that you can lose in a split of a second. So you got to come with the mindset that you got to be the best and the healthiest you can be. Are you going to allow yourself a moment, I don't know, on the bus? Walking out of the tunnel for warm ups, coming out of the tunnel for the game. Are you going to allow yourself a moment to think this is pretty cool, or is it totally game time? At this it's point? game time. I've been there and done that. I've been in big games. So, um, you know, just taking a step one day at a time and one play at a time and just be the best that I can be. You know, um, we played a lot of games, USC versus Caleb Williams last year. Um, we played the championship game at Tulane. So, you know, um, no game is no big game to me and us here. You know, we treat every game like a big game here. There's been a lot of talk about him. There's been a lot of talk about the Bears and all their improvements. It doesn't seem like many people are talking about the Titans. Just within this room, how fired up are you guys to go show who you can be on Sunday? Oh, we, we all fired up, you know. We go out there and just, get, just play as a team and just go out there and put on film what we can do as a Titan. You know, every, every time we talk, we talk about the 2024 Titans, not the 2023 Titans on behind. But at the end of the day, you know, they're a great team. Keller Williams is a great quarterback. But we can't control the outside noise what people talk about us, man. You know, the best thing we can do is just control what we can do in this locker room. It's just nostalgic, and it always brings out that feeling that football's back. And, you know, obviously we have a chance when you, when you start fresh in, in a new season to choose who you want to be, you know. So that's also an opportunity, something that we have the opportunity to do. So Hostile environment, what yeah. you kind of look I would say to? how we respond, how we respond to every situation that's thrown at us. You know, obviously there's going to be um, highs and lows in the game. You know, you, it can never be all good and it can never be all bad. But, you know, how we respond to difficult situations, how we respond to success. You know, it's going to happen in moments. Someone may make a play and we're up and then, Someone may give up a play, then we're down. No, it can't be that. It got to be, you know, the same level every every play. And I feel like um, it's going to just be an opportunity for the leaders on this team to show why they're leaders. Um, and 
really everybody on this team's a leader. You know, you got to lead yourself first, and then when we're establishing a culture, you know, we're going to pick up good habits. So uh, just the, those habits that, that we're, you know, starting to build, I think that's what I'm excited about. What is Cheetah looking forward to for this first game? What are you, you kind of excited for? Make plays. Make plays. Touch the ball. Make plays. Um, be out there with my guys, you know, my new brothers. You know, I'm really excited to just be without, out there with so many dogs, you know. Um, we have a very deep secondary. You know, every, every person in the room can make plays, and, you know, I'm really blessed and honored to play with them. So I'm just excited to be with them and, you know, eat. What's something we can expect from that group on, on Sunday? Uh, someone going to get hit. <laughs> someone going to get hit, and someone going to get hit.